It's that time again when parents head to the store for school supplies as they get ready to send their kids back to class. But this year is a little different as inflation is causing prices to soar. It costs is a factor, yes, um, but I, I'm hoping I don't need a whole lot of stuff. That'll hopefully keep those costs down, but cost is, 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 is huge. Winique Irvin hasn't started shopping yet for her seven-year-old son, so it was a pleasant surprise for her to learn about New Jersey's upcoming tax holiday on school supplies. I just heard about it on the radio, like driving here, and, I, and then I saw the signs. So I was trying to figure out, like, all right, so I can look at my list again and try to figure out what I can actually use, and that's awesome. It's that kind of reaction Democratic lawmakers who push for New Jersey's tax holiday are hoping more families will have when it goes into effect tomorrow. For 10 days, customers will be exempt from paying the state's nearly 7% tax on school supplies. And this isn't just notebooks and crayons and, and uh, pens and paper. We're talking about $3,000 computers, we're talking about printers, art supplies, sports supplies, come on out and get athletic gear. These are all going to be tax free for the next 10 days and this is exciting. Supporters of the tax holiday say the average American can easily spend hundreds of dollars on back to school shopping, so every little bit of relief helps. Nationally, American families are expected to surpass last year's record on uh, record high on school supplies spending, which was $37 billion. The average cost per family is $864, which is $168 more than the pre-pandemic prices. But there are some concerns that the tax holiday won't actually help the majority of families that really need it. To the extent that anyone benefits from a sales tax holiday, though, we do know it's mostly higher income households because high income households are the ones who can wait for this weekend, who can time their purchases. You know, they don't need to make a bunch of purchases all the time, and so they can go out this weekend and buy a bunch of stuff, including computers, which are selling for upwards of $3,000. Um, that's where you see the big benefits from this weekend. Most lower income households, you know, they've got to buy stuff whenever it breaks or when they need a new thing, and they aren't going to be able to go out there and make a bunch of purchases just this weekend. Policy experts say this will be a major boost for businesses. They're the clear winners from this policy. They're going to be able to benefit from a surge in their business. They might be able to raise their prices due to an increase in demand from the sales tax holiday. Assembly Minority Leader John DeMeo says he would have preferred to have taken an approach that would have provided more long-term solutions for families. We had offered uh, four different types of tax cuts that would be more impactful and, and longstanding. Uh, probably the best one of those would be re the income tax brackets, which have not been changed since 1996. We would index them for inflation back to the year 2000. And, and going forward, it would be indexed every year. This would save the average uh, taxpayer in New Jersey, family, working family in New Jersey, you know, middle class, or working poor person, $1,500 uh, a year, which would be certainly more substantive, substantive and more helpful uh, you know, going forward. If my Republican colleagues aren't in favor of, of saving people uh, money because they think they should save more, well, then I, you know, that that's their opinion. I, we think that doing something that helps people save money uh, as they get back to school, makes their lives a little bit easier, makes it less wear and tear on their pocketbook, uh, is a good thing. Uh, and for parents like Irvin, who knows the sales savings is small, she says she's just happy to be able to keep a few more dollars in her pockets anywhere she can. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.